At the end of most daily newspapers, there's still a comic strip section. Now a Youngstown man famous for his animated drawings that wants to bring back America's oldest comic strip. First News reporter Jacob Thompson has that story. He joins us live in studio. His story is new at 11. Chris Yambar considers himself a writer, an artist, a publisher, and more. He's done work with multiple comics, including The Simpsons, Popeye, and Mr. Magoo. Now he wants to reintroduce the original comic strip, Met, Meet Mickey Dugan, a.k.a. The Yellow Kid. Anyone who's, who is a student of comic books and comic art and comic strips knows about The Yellow Kid. But in case you don't know, The Yellow Kid is a comic character. He's a young Irish boy who lives in the slums of New York City during the late 1800s. Things that were funny were uh, getting hit in the rear end with a, with a board with a nail in it, you know, or getting kicked in the pants by a donkey. The Yellow Kid was published for four years inside of Joseph Pulitzer's New York World. Being one of the only sources of entertainment, it was well received. And there were people um, who, I mean, they ran out to, to buy the paper to find out what the comic strip was for that day. If you got a chuckle out of something, it was worth your nickel. So Yambar wanted to bring the classic comic back. About six years ago, he partnered with an editorial artist named Randy Bish. When I mentioned it to him uh, several years back, he looked at me like, like he had a fire in his pants. I mean, he was like, what? And I said, yeah, you know, the yellow kid is kind of a dream project. He goes, I'm in. The plan is to stick to the original cartoon with the yellow shirt that goes down to his feet to the witty phrases on the shirt, even keeping his bald head. Back then in the late 1800s, almost every child of the slums had their head shaved. Their mothers would shave their head because they didn't want them to get lice. After multiple roadblocks, they are about ready to release the comic book, all just in time. Here's another bit of timing. His, his uh, 100, official 125th birthday comes in February. So here we go. Now Chris Yambar tells me that the book will be out sometime next week. If you're interested in ordering one, we put a link to his website in this story at WKBN.com. Live in the studio, Jacob Thompson, WKBN 27 First News.